Hi, this is Adam from Divide to Infinity. Um, uh, yeah, I've just got a couple of programs here for you. Um, what I'm doing here is advanced audiovisual processing with open frameworks and the C++ libraries. Um, I'm going to show you some stuff with uh, MIDI keyboard. First thing coming up is going to be a scope synthesizer, uh, which just uh, gives you a, like a like a sawtooth wave, and then um, you know just has like some quick and dirty MIDI kind of thing going on. Uh, there's a description there, divide to infinity.com uh, in the blog section. Let me just open this one up for you. Medium Maximilian Scope Synth. Okay, so what a fire it up first of all. You can download all this stuff as well. This is just on the website available to download, and you'll see in the description below. If you just press the letter L to list your MIDI ports, you've got to click on the graphics to see that. Um, so in my case I'm going to use my little LPK which is 4. Okay so this the scope there and I'm just going to press the buttons around. It's just mono legato and just uh, make some more. It's a bit difficult. Yeah, so it's velocity sensitive for on the on the cutoff, so that's my terrible demonstration with camera in hand. Next thing up is a bubble sort. Um, I was just going to uh, have arrays uh, which get filled with random data. And then I have different sort algorithms to be able to demonstrate how a computer sorts sorts data out. But it, it didn't come to fruition like the way I wanted it to. So uh, yeah, it's because there's something to do with the thread sleeping in uh, open frameworks. But I've got something working, so you, you'd be able to see for yourself if I just... Here we go. <laughs> but you just love it. <laughs> if you click on the window. This represents an array full of data, and it's all random. So uh, we're just taking the position of where the, uh, the pixels are going, and then it's just controlling a sawtooth oscillator again. And then if you press number one on the keyboard, it, it, it bubble sorts. So uh, it, it's looking at the, the current position and the next position. So that's what that does, and then you can press two to randomize it again. So as simple as. Right, okay, moving on swiftly to the next one. Uh, nice and noisy. E.G. Maximilian. Ah, okay, this one doesn't work. Um, it's intended to be the main project. It uses this headset um, because, of, because of the way that the examples are organized that come with this headset, it doesn't fit very well with the Open Frameworks library and I've spent uh, weeks try, trying to get it to work. It's really airy. Um, you know what they say about assumption <laughs> and what it's the mother of. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I thought it'd be easy just to get a couple of variables in and then just get them past them somewhere else into another thing. But, um, yeah, it just, uh, didn't happen. Okay, the MIDI example. Um, all, I, all I did is just, uh, is just add that list that you see at the start of that other video. So, uh, next is the video player test modified. on this one yes. yeah we did move through really swiftly there we go it's just a standard video player um, it, it comes with the example I wanted to load my own video onto this but uh, I was having some trouble with the, the compression ratio or whatever it is and something on QuickTime it was throwing me a, uh, a problem so this is this is what usually comes with open frameworks with the standard video what I've done is, uh, is, is first of all, I just set it to loop backwards and forwards. So uh, if, if you just see that now, it's uh, just doubled in speed and you can freeze it and stuff just by pressing two, or you press three to freeze it, or four to resume, and one to go back to standard speed, go up to speed, go three backwards, four. Yeah, that's, that's what I've basically what I've just done there. 
So uh, yeah, there'll be more software coming out uh, soon and I'll just keep working on. Uh, however, if, if you go a little bit further down uh, on my website, uh, you, you see there's a link to all of these files. So you can just download them for yourself, uh, just, to, just to, so you can see the source code. And uh, that's me, Adam from Divide to Infinity, over and out.